Hello everyone, I am Gian Cordero. The topic that I will present to you today is about changes in solid materials. The best describe solid materials when they are bent, pressed, hammered, or cut. Based on the topic we learned about the classification of materials is based on the ability to absorb water, sink, float, and undergo decay. This cloth can absorb water. This material will sink. This light material will float. And some materials undergo decay. Now, let us define what is solid. Solid is one of the three states of matter. It has definite size and volume. Molecules in solids are closely packed together. Solids have different size, shape, color, texture, weight, and many more. For example, this box, clay, stone, and this bread are solid. Now, what can we do to change the appearance of solid materials? Changes can easily be determined when they are bent, pressed, hammered, or cut. So now, let's find out what happens when the material is bent. Example, these two forks. The metal fork and the plastic fork. Let's bend the metal fork first. As you can see, there is change in the appearance of the metal fork. But it's not breaking and no new material is being formed. This ability is what we call ductility. Ductility is the ability of a material to have its shape change without losing strength or breaking. Next, the plastic fork. As you can see, there is change in its appearance. The shape, size, and this is what we call brittleness. Brittleness is Easily broken, cracked, or snapped. What happens when solid materials are being pressed? Press is when applying pressure to flatten the shape of an object. As you can see, a sponge being pressed by our hands. The sponge changed its shape, but no new material is being formed. Only the physical appearance change. How about pressing clay using pen? As you can see, no new material is being formed. Only the size, shape, and object changes. How about hammering a solid material? This bottle cap is being hammered. See, this bottle cap becomes flat. It changed the size and shape, but no new material is being formed. What about cutting solid materials? Example, this piece of paper being cut by a scissors into two. So the paper changed its appearance size and shape, but no new material are being formed. By this video, we learned that physical characteristic of solid materials 
change by the process of bending, pressing, hammering, and cutting. By this process, no new materials are being formed. Thank you.